speaker is Rob Shepard. Uh, I, we haven't ever met personally, but the Shepard name is out there for years and years. Um, I have a nephew that pitched for his brother. A guy named Freddie Hill worked for us at the university. Um, you heard some, some names earlier. Um, uh, Norm Schoening worked for the university for years, won two national championships. I was pleased to be part of that. But whenever somebody would say, oh no, I pitched for them or played for them or whatever, there are different ways to describe it, but I would say, oh, you're part of the Shep group. Uh, just a name that's out there. It's, your dad was an icon in the industry. You've carved the same niche. Your brother has as well. If you pitch for or play for Shepard at Seton Hall Prep or Shepard at the university, you're part of a bigger thing than just baseball. So we're pleased to have Rob here. And uh, players, everybody feel free to ask questions as we go along here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. No, I appreciate uh, being asked to, to speak today and, and obviously um, having the opportunity to follow Brooks. For me, you know, I, I was brought up in old school baseball. Um, and now we're, I guess, what you would call new school. But I think that what makes the current status of baseball so important is the marriage of both. You have to have both. You can't have a successful program or successful organization without one or the other. Um, I think some of the major league organizations that are putting a lot of uh, stress on sabermetrics and analytics, um, they have to have some type of approach where there's a feel to it. They can't just put numbers out there and, and understand um, this is how we're going to go. There has to be a tie-in to how that actually applies to our, our industry, our sport, and I think that's really important. So men like, like Brooks and, and, and Eddie Lyons and Coach Hill and my dad um, were really instrumental in, I think, putting that together uh, because there is a, a big part of the game um, in the traditions and in, in the experiences that we've, ex we've had over the years. So, um, for me, I'm really fortunate at the college level, we have access to a lot of different resources that you, you guys don't have uh, here as, as, as readily as I do. I have uh, Tony Testa who runs our athletic training area. I have Mercedes Cunningham who is our trainer who works hand in hand with our athletes from uh, rehab, from prehab to uh, uh, workout design, you name it. I have the ability to do that. Then we have the technology. We have the use of a bat system, which I think you might have here, Rap Soto, and things like that. So I think there's a lot uh, that we're able to tap into these days, and we have to take more of a holistic approach when we're talking about arm care. Um, for me, there, there's a lot of differences. The differences in body type, differences in mobility. Uh, differences in the ability from a velocity standpoint in each athlete. So you have to take those into consideration. You can't do arm care as a cookie cutter. Um, you can't throw everybody on the same weighted ball program because some guys are, are better suited for different exercises over others. So there has to be the ability to assess the athletes, to understand what their limitations are and what they're good at, and design programs and work with them throughout their uh, careers. Um, Brooks touched on something for me is really important is the communication. Okay, you talk about uh, pitch count or, or recovery. A big part of that is the communication that you have with the athlete. What was the athlete's previous um, appearance? What was his previous uh, start or appearance on the mound? How, how many pitches did he throw? How soon was it? to this, this current outing. Uh, what are the conditions? What's the weather like? Is it hot? Is it cold? Um, how does he feel? Those are all parts of kind of the um, evaluation of pitch count. I don't think pitch count's just the number. It's how you get to that number. Okay, so Brooks, you know, through 178 pitches, um, and I'm sure there was points in the game where he had some stressful innings, stressful pitches, and I think that's what we've gotten better at uh, managing and counting is what that stress, stress, stressful pitch uh, level is.